Eric. You must have been playing outside in the cold. Good idea to use friction to warm up your hands. It's true. When you rub your hands together, you're creating friction. Rubbing two objects together causes friction. The more friction there is, the more heat you get. Hey, what are you doing now, Eric? <laughs> okay, I think you're exaggerating a little bit, but you've got the right idea. Would you like to know more about the science of friction? Great, let's go. Are you ready to create some friction, Eric? Let's start by rolling a ball along the table. Ew, very funny. On a smooth surface, the ball rolls easily, right? But what do you think will happen if you roll the ball on this rug? Go ahead, give it a try. Aha, the ball barely moves. That's because the rug isn't as smooth as the table. Look closely. Do you see that the rug's surface is uneven? The little bumps increase friction more than the smooth surface of the table did. Let's do another experiment. Take two pads of construction paper and put the sheets together, like you're shuffling cards. That's right. Well done. Tidy up the pages so they're all lined up. Yes, just like that. And now, pull them apart again. But Eric, if paper is smooth, there shouldn't be much friction between the pages, right? Aha, I got you. Each pad of construction paper has many sheets. Each sheet produces a little bit of friction, but together, they all add up and create a huge amount of friction. That's why it's so hard to separate them. Keep trying, Eric. Let me know how it goes. Out in space, objects such as comets and meteorites can travel faster than 20 kilometers per second without ever slowing down. They can keep moving like this for billions of years because there's almost no atmosphere to create resistance, which means there's no friction. In other words, once you start moving in space, you'll never stop. Unless you bump into something. Now that you understand friction, you can amaze your family and friends by rolling a ball over different surfaces or trying to separate two pads of construction paper like Eric did. And don't forget, it's not magic, it's science.